Good morning. This is 1125, short week in the U.S., Thursday's off and Friday's half day. So we're looking at an overnight session that gapped up. Um, Bitcoin hit 100,000, depends on which quote you look at. And here is what it looks like. We had a few rough days not too long ago. And with this pop, you can see that dotted orange line. The S&P is almost back where it was. Same story on the QQQ, only a little bit behind, as we said last week. The mega caps need to kick in a little bit extra. And you can see how visually it looks like it's lagging, although not a slouch at all. The IWM is outperforming this morning, uh, those two. You can see it's not only recovered, it's almost to the very top. And the champ this morning is the Dow, probably by way of the banks, especially Goldman Sachs. It's a big stock inside the bank. Banking sector is flying as if um, the expectations from the new administration to come um, are, you know, the bar for that is pretty high at this point. What to expect this week? Well, we might have some drama because we do have uh, fuel for the drama. We have the FOMC minutes on Tuesday. Wednesday, we get the uh, PCE, which is an inflationary number, and also GDP, which is pretty important. That's the bottom line for the country, right? There are a few other reports here and there. And uh, my experience with short weeks, we want them to go by quickly, but they sometimes bring drama. As far as what the market makers were expecting, we are looking at the purple boxes. That's my estimate of what they were expecting this week. We are going to open at the top end of Tuesday's uh, range that they had set. This is information based on Friday's options data. Of course, it is not set in stone, but it has been a good guide for us for visual purposes. So I will update us on this one if we will open up and then drift lower, like uh, sometimes we do. Overall, things are on rails, but um, usually the disappointment comes from misaligned expectations. And at this point, my estimate is that the expectations are on another planet, and hopefully we can live up to them. Um, I wouldn't get long starting positions here unless I know what I'm doing with the charts. There are a few charts that do deserve to be long, but even within the context of everything is so high that if we have any correction whatsoever, even the best deals would be better deals thereafter. I'm not saying short everything, but I'm saying stay cautious, especially during the holidays. We talked about Bitcoin. Let's talk about gold. Um, it is trying to make a comeback. It did have a somewhat of a dip, and it's recovered half the dip. This morning it's not doing as well, but the normal, um, the normal behavior is to hit a hiccup halfway back after a, a small correction. Correction might be overkill. <laughs> Let's look at the bond market, which is my concern. If I take my notes, the bond market needs to make a turnaround and start heading uh, north. Um, Otherwise, there'll be a problem with the Fed's message that they're going to be cutting rates because this is the opposite of cutting rates. The TLT falling equals the opposite of cutting rates. The VIX, which is the perceived measurement of fear for 30 days out, not now, on the S&P, is falling back into a base that I don't think it deserves to be in. Anything below 14 is pretty scary with regards to the lack of concern. Uh, we did have a little hiccup with the VIX down to in July to the 11s, uh, which was pretty crazy. So I intend on being long the VIX because we're not going to solve world peace. Hopefully we do. But if we don't, it doesn't have a lot lower to go. So this might also make, the, make a good trade, but it definitely makes a good insurance policy. 60 days out is my strategy. Usually if I need protection, if I need protection for the market, I buy calls at the money for the VIX, in this case, will be at 15, 60 days out. So next year's 60 days, plus or minus, plus preferably. It isn't foolproof, but it's easy insurance. It holds its value much better than buying puts in the S&P, for example. Let's have a great week, guys.